Hi there, this is Fleep and uh, today I've got a little tutorial for you. Um, a bit of a, well, a bit of a hacking tutorial, something I've done in the past but this time we're going to go more into detail, we're going to do a bit more hardcore stuff. So basically, um, what we've got here today, I've got, um, I'm going to show you this straight away, what we've got here is basically um, a memory hack, uh, mainly um, I'm going to tell you what this tutorial is about first so you guys can make a choice on what you want to do and you'll know what those choices will be in a second. Uh, basically I've got two different hacks for you, right? Uh, I'm not going to do them both uh, at the same time. You'll see two options at the end so you can choose what you want. Basically the first one is an external hack, right? So this is it, the one you're seeing here. This is a slightly easier one and the second one's a bit harder but I'll get to that one in a second. Basically this is what I've got here and this hack here basically what it does is it gets into the game right it changes the memory address of that game so if you've done the C sharp tutorial with me before um, if you haven't and you you're really into C sharp I recommend you go back and do that one so check out my videos uh, it should be uh, C sharp how to make a trainer and um, what this one's about this one goes into more detail and it goes into C++ and whether you're a, an expert well, if you're an expert, you probably wouldn't be here, but if you're really good at this and you just want to learn how to hack, or if you've never uh, written any C++ before, you can do this. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do this because I'm going to do every step and I'll guide you guys through it. Um, and basically, this is technically a good hack, you know, it's um, it's not hardcore stuff, it's not really advanced, but what we're going to do is going to change things in game. I'll show you as we go along. We're going to be changing health, we're going to be changing ammo. And quite a few things. So the two options you've got is the first one is uh, our external hack as I showed you and this one simply is external because it changes things from outside the uh, the application's memory and our, our next one that will be the more in-depth one, more difficult one to do uh, will be a code injection. Now um, I'm doing this one first and I'll get on with that one afterwards and the code injection one will be more thorough so it might have one or two more things and what we're going to build on that one, we're going to we're going to write a, an injector. So if any of you have used anyone else's hacks before, you know what this is. So an injector injects a DLL. That's what we'll do as well, a DLL file. We'll write it and we'll build it ourselves. We'll create it so that we can inject that DLL into the game's memory and uh, overwrite those values from inside. Um, and that will be the more in-depth one. Slightly, you know, it's the more used kind of thing. Uh, at the moment not many people use external hacks but they're a good place to start off in and they they work just as well as the um, DLLs. It's just to say that um, the DLLs can do a few more things than the um, than the other ones can't but I'll, I'll explain that when when you're doing the DLL one if you do that if you do do it. So um, just a few things I'm gonna I wanna take you through this first I wanna show you the what the external hack does so basically I'm just gonna run this Right, and this is not a graphical interface like we've done in the past. This is a console-based application. All right, um, so I'm just going to load this here. So the Soul Cube is the game that we're going to be using for this. All right, and this game is a pretty good game, you know. Um, so I'm just going to move this here so you can see the thing is here. So uh, there's the hack on the on the right side there. So here's the game. It's nothing special. The reason why I chose this uh, is because. Um, it's a very small file, right? You can download it from the description. It's about 40 megabytes, very small file for a game like this. It's a first-person shooter, which is, which is what I was trying to target. And um, it's a pretty good game for what it is. I mean, it's very basic and stuff. It's nothing too special, but it serves our purposes. Now, something else I've got to tell you. If you're interested in modding games like Modern Warfare and so on, I guarantee you, if you can mod this, you can mod that game, because this has more protection than Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, um, uh, Black Ops, uh, Modern Warfare 3. It's it's an absolute joke the type of protection it's got. The only reason they don't get hacked that much is because of VAC, uh, Valve Anti Cheat. They basically just um, pretty much save uh, Infinity Wards and Triarch's ass on that. Um, so I guarantee you, if you can hack this, you can hack um, you can hack Modern Warfare, um, any of the Call of Duties pretty much, uh, because as I'll, sh I'll tell you later on, the, the protection is terrible on that, and you can change al addresses a lot easier than that. Than this, sorry. Um, so basically, here we've got, uh, as you can see, there my ammo's coming down. 
and um, gone down to 20 I reloaded it's great stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn unlimited ammo on so I'm just gonna press F1 and there we go so I've given myself 7331 rounds alright and now I can shoot as much as I want it won't go down um, as you can see here I can even do a few jumps with it it's all good um, so we've got that done um, and then we've got uh, unlimited health I click F2 and there's my unlimited health so I'm just gonna grab a grenade um, now this isn't the best place for me to practice it as you can see there I took a grenade straight on oh that one killed me now um, this is a bit of a stupid place to do it because uh, I think the um, the thing is a bit glitchy so I'm gonna go to a bot team deathmatch because that's where the actual game's at so um, now uh, something I gotta mention quite quickly is um, that um, I don't recommend you do any of this online although you can and most people do this kind of stuff it I take no responsibility for for what you do so for example if you do uh, the things I'm going to teach you in a game like COD uh, or anything like that then you are at risk of getting banned there's no doubt about that I'm not an expert at this I'm certainly not an expert so what you're learning here is basically how to do what I'm telling you to do I'm not I haven't been doing this for too long I've learned this a few weeks ago um, so I'm I'm fairly new at this as well so I'm just gonna go up to these guys let them shoot me for quite a bit and you'll see that I won't die as you can see Come on, shoot me, you bastard. So as you can see, they keep shooting me in my health, so I'm at the enemy's base. And my health just, um, I've chosen the worst type of AI. I probably shouldn't have done that, but it's impossible for them to kill me, pretty much. So by making ammo unlimited, I've also got unlimited grenades, which is quite cool. So I can just kill them all, um, stab them and stuff. But basically, this isn't any kind of special game. I mean, it's a great game to practice hacks on, I'll tell you that. Um, you can try them online and everything like that and they will most of the time work fine now if this is a server sided game it won't work uh, sometimes but if it's a game like modern warfare or anything like that um, it might work well if you're the host it will always work there's no doubt about that but anyways we're focusing on these sort of games first so as you can see here I've got limited ammo and limited health and, and this might seem quite a small thing at first but if you can do these two you can do most things you can do unlimited armor unlimited pretty much anything in the game and when we do the DLL we'll be into more in-depth stuff like rapid fire and so on which is quite cool as well in my opinion so why am I doing this? Um, I'm doing this because, uh, as I mentioned to you guys, I enjoy doing a bit of hacking and stuff. I don't do this to piss people off. I don't do this online. I don't use it. I'm not trying to get banned off any of my accounts and stuff, like uh, my Steam account. I don't want to get rid of my Modern Warfare or whatever. Because most games use, and the reason why I told you Modern Warfare and COD in general is easy, is because they don't use um, DMA, Dynamic Memory Allocation, which makes them very easy to hack. So you can change um, ammo and all that stuff really easily. Um, which for some reason I tried it on games like a 2003 game which has DMA already I don't know if that's like an automatic thing or I don't know what but uh, Modern Warfare is really easy to hack because of that now what else so what you learn on this hack this first hack is basically um, I won't be showing you the second hack until you select the second video because the second hack will have everything this one has plus a few extras but I don't recommend you do that one until you finish this one um, so basically what this one will have, it will have the unlimited ammo, unlimited health cheat, and we're going to build this user interface that we see right here. We're going to build that. Um, and it's going to have, you know, pretty much, you know, you type, you press a key, as you can see here, I'm pressing F1, F um, thingy. Uh, if I take unlimited ammo, if I want to get homeschooled, once this guy <laughs> eventually shoots me, I'm going to get in the middle where everyone is. But you can see they're going to start shooting me at some point there you go see my health goes down it doesn't go back up and I'll die within a few seconds I probably should have chosen harder enemies but I didn't um, and what, what I'm going to give you here is code that can be applied to any game no doubt the code that I've written I've optimized certain amounts of code I'm not a genius um, at doing this but what I've done is I've done it good enough so that you can have up to 20 pointers uh, if you like it doesn't matter you just send the pointers in and the thing he handles it for you so you'll see once we do write the code um, it's it's fairly good code I mean it's not that much code but it's it's good I think it's fairly good um, what else um, so I'm just gonna check my notes out here uh, what else am I 
helping you with. Yeah, so this is pretty much it. I've, to I've told you what the tutorial contains. Um, I'm going to leave these guys. Um, so I'm just going to leave these guys. I don't really care. So I've told you what the tutorial contains. I'm just going to go down here. Uh, hope perhaps doesn't start lagging it. it. You can see some of the code and we're going to write this pretty much from scratch. So what I want you to do um, first thing is w what we're going to do is find the pointers in the game. So I'm going to leave these guys here, go back to my base because um, it's better to do that so I'm not being stalked by these guys. So basically, right, um, we can now go for to a game by ourselves. We don't need to. Um, so just follow me. Make sure you download uh, the game. Um, actually, yeah, just forgot to tell you what you need to use for this. You you need um, you need uh, this game obviously. So make sure you download that. All links are in the description. You need Cheat Engine. Cheat Engine is this program right here. So if you've tried hacking at some point, this is it. And uh, make sure you download that also in the description. And also you need Visual Studio, either 2008 and two th or 2010, just as long as it's got um, C++ capabilities. So if it's, um, uh, I think it's called V C++ Express. I think that version works quite well. Um, but I recommend you get the 2010 version because there's certain things there that will help us. Um, but it doesn't matter so uh, too much really. Um, yeah, so this is about it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a. Um, it's just making sure my notes are good. Yeah, they're good. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to find out what right is what address. So we went to a, s a solo game so that we can um, have the time we want because those games are limited to 10 minutes each. So we're in a solo game, no one's annoying us, no enemies, and uh, we can find these things out quite nicely. Now, like I said to you, solo games are a bit buggy and certain things won't work too well in them. I don't know what it's about, but it doesn't really matter. Now, if any of you guys played this game before, I need to tell you this, um, because otherwise I'm going to get bitched at. Um, if any of you guys have played this game before, some people will say, oh, this is an open source game, and it is, so why don't you just see the code and do it? And this pisses me off quite a lot, because the whole point of doing this is to learn to hack. And I saw in some forums some absolute idiot teaching you how to write an aimbot by looking through the source and by looking um, also a no recoil hack and I was thinking how much of an idiot he is because you can't apply that to almost anything it's not like um, Call of Duty give you the source to their game so you can hack it so I thought you know this is a guy with pretty high reputation I thought he's an absolute idiot for doing this and I don't know who'd pay attention to that anyways just stupid stuff that you somehow think these people are clever but they're actually not very clever honestly um, also why am I I'm doing this because um these things are generally quite hard to find. If you go on a, um, a hacking forum of sorts, people are quite big bastards to you. So they're like, um, you know, I haven't done it. I haven't asked any questions. Pretty much, I know. I know some people. I just see questions, and I'm like, and every time there's a question, if it's a tiny bit noobish, you're gonna get some stupid responses. Um, they're like, oh, YouTube, get out of here and stuff. And it's like, well, there's no point having those types of forums because they're just useless. And um, you know, people do go learning by themselves. I guess some people probably should just get a book and stuff. But what I'm doing here is I'm telling you everything that I know about this. Uh, so in order, in order that, so you can make your own hack and stuff, basically. Um, yeah. So um, some of the information you've seen here, um, it took me sometimes. Every time I had a problem, sometimes it takes days and days because you have to go through forums and forums and just looking at problems and sometimes one small thing just takes a whole day to fix and you're like oh my god how could I not figure that out anyways 